You know what grilled cheese needs? Tomato soup. Hello, I'm Kendall here at Lazy Llama Creations. Today, this video tutorial is gonna be making this tomato soup, which is beginner friendly. I have the pattern linked down below, as well as the crochet kit version. If you're interested in buying a kit, it comes with all the supplies you need to make your very own tomato soup and grilled cheese. For this pattern, I'm using medium weight for yarn and this color called crepe, which is like a light brown and dark red. I have a small amount of black and 10 millimeter safety eyes, as well as stuffing, a five millimeter crochet hook, stitch markers, tapestry needle, and scissors. Let's jump right in. I'm gonna start by making a magic ring with our red, because we're gonna start with the top soup. To make our magic ring, I wanna place the tail in my hand and then wrap around to make an X, just like that. I'm gonna place my thumb in the middle just so I can hold it in place. And then with my hook, I'm gonna go under, then over and pull that bar of the X over. Tighten and then chain one, which is just pulling the yarn through. But let me show you that again, cause that was a little fast. I have my tail wrap around to make an X, hold in the middle, under, over. I'm gonna shimmy this through and I'm kind of twisting my hook up, carefully moving it from my hand and picking up our yarn. And then I'm tightening it. And then to do our chain one, we're gonna place our yarn in our hook and pull through. If I go to too fast on any of this, this is gonna be a Confident Beginner Crochet Kit. So it's more like a level two versus a level one. On my YouTube channel, I have tons of videos of going over the basics very thoroughly, as well as the written pattern has pictures um, for all the steps that you need. And Peanut, my cat, you'll see a little later. Now that we have our magic ring, we need to place six single crochets into it so we have our first round. I'm gonna place my hook underneath and make one single crochet. Again, I'm gonna place my hook, yarn over, pull through. So I have two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through again. That was my second single crochet. I'm gonna repeat until I have six single crochets. That was my third, my fourth, my fifth, and my sixth. I'm gonna take my tail, or the part, or start of our yarn, and we get to pull it so that we actually get a circle. We'll be working this piece in a spiral, so we're not gonna join in between um, rounds or anything like that. I'm gonna take my stitch marker, and I like to place mine in the last single crochet I made, so I know the end of the round. For round two, we're going to do six increases, and an increase is two single crochets in one stitch. So, it's a little harder to see in the red yarn, but I'm gonna insert my hook into that very first single crochet that we made, and I wanna make it one single crochet. And then I'm gonna make a second going into that same stitch. Our first round we had six single crochets. At the end of round two we should have 12, so you're going to put two in each one. Moving on to the next stitch, I want to do my two single crochets. And you're going to repeat this all the way around so you have 12. For round three, in our next stitch, we're going to place one single crochet. 
and then in the next stitch we'll do our, our increase which is the two single crochets so one and then into the same stitch a second so again this was one and then a double or an increase and we're going to repeat this around so you have 18 stitches so I'll do one single crochet and then in the next our increase and I'll finish the round for the next round we're going to do one single crochet and then into the next stitch we'll do another single crochet so one one and then an increase so our repeat is four single crochets one one double and we'll repeat this around our next round we're going to do three single crochets so one into the next stitch two and then in the next stitch three and then an increase so I'm sure you're starting to see the pattern by now right we had one single crochet and then an increase two single crochets and an increase three single crochets and then an increase after this round it'll be four single crochets increase and then five single crochets increase and then you'll fasten off your work so I'm going to finish my circle and then you're going to cut your yarn and pull through so you have a nice flat round red circle I just finished my soup all of our red so now we have to make the bowl this is my tan off white yarn I don't know what color it is I thought it looked like the little takeout containers or like you know one of those old school diners that have soup in the little bowls that are like halfway ceramic halfway plastic for our bowl we're going to start the same way we did the soup you'll do your magic ring then six increases one single crochet increase two single crochet increase three single crochet increase and then four single crochet increase so it's going to be one round smaller than this and that will be our base since you already know how to do that i'm going to hop off camera to do it so it's a little faster don't forget you can go back to the beginning of the video and watch and do this all over again i know the magic ring can sometimes take a few times but then you'll have the bottom and i'll show you what to do from there that we have our base we have to start going up and to do that we're going to make like this little bottom rim which is done with the back loop only so the next round we're going to single crochet in every stitch but in the back loop only normally we've been making our stitches like this right you go under both loops but now we're just going to go in that second one that back one and then you make a single crochet like normal so again just going through one loop and making a single crochet we're going to do this all the way around now you can start to see that's our bottom and it's going to start working up next round we're going to do five single crochets so one two three four five and then an increase and you'll do this for the round after this round we're going to be doing six rows of single crochet normally you'll have your stitch marker in your stitch you just move this up every single round like you've been doing but to make life a little easier I'm going to place it on the base of my last stitch and then when I single crochet I'm not going to remove this I want to keep on going around and around and around for a total of six times and we'll just leave this here and then you just kind of eyeball it and line it up as you go it makes it a little easier a little quicker so for the next six rounds you're just going to place one single crochet into every single stitch finish my six rounds you see I just left that in and then I just kept on working but now do our last round I'll take this out put it in my last stitch like normal as my hook falls out there we go so for our last round we're going to be doing half double crochets instead of single crochets we're going to be placing one half double in every stitch if you're unfamiliar with the stitch you're going to yarn over place your yarn on top of our hook insert into the stitch yarn over pull through so you have three loops yarn over pull through all three you're going to repeat this in every single stitch 
and at the end we're going to do a slip stitch to join together which of course I'll show you how to do as well. So our round of half double crochets. Because the stitch is a little taller, we don't want to just fasten off and be done because it doesn't line up. So we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch, the very first one on the round, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again. That's called a slip stitch. And then we'll fasten off pretty long because we'll use this for sewing. Now you can see it's a little bit more lined up. You can't do this right now, Peanut. Not right now, not right now. Here, do you want, do you want to sit back here? At our smile, I have 10 millimeter safety eyes, and I'm going to place them in. I like to just eyeball it, but I'm shh. Um, get it? Because they're eyeballs? Whoa. Thanks, Peanut. She's helping. Without putting the backs on, because now I can kind of place it, and we're going to place the smile next. Oh, thanks, Peanut. So I have black yarn on my tapestry needle from the back. We're going to insert, we have a few inches in the back, and we're going to make a straight line. I do about two, but you can make it huge if you want, totally up to you. And this is our and this is our straight line. Now that we're in the back, we're going to go down and poke through where you want the bottom of the smile to be, and then scoop that straight line down, and pull, and you can kind of shape it so it's a little rounder. All right, I'm gonna see if my eyes are still even. Mm, I think so. Is that too close? Yeah, okay, so they were even. I wanna add my backs. Make sure you hear the clicking sound or you can feel it. I'm gonna find my other one. Here it is. I'm gonna tie a square knot on the back. Don't pull too tight because you don't want to mess up your smile. This keeps it nice and secure. And then trim so it's just out of the way. Here, you can have this. You want this? My cats are getting restless, so let's finish up this video. We gotta sew our soup into the bowl. So I'm gonna take my nice long bowl tail, because again, I don't know what color this is. I'm going to label it's crepe, which I guess is a tan. I have my red, I'm gonna kind of place it on the inside. I'm gonna go down. So this was our row of half double crochets. So I'm gonna put my needle down go through the front loop of the red and pull so now it's official the red's attached and then we're going to go back through just the bowl let me show that again so underneath the half doubles, into the front loop, into the front loop and pull, and then you're just going to go, don't go through the red again, just go through the bowl and pull. Don't pull too tight because it will show up, the red will show up on the other side. But you want it snug enough, of course, that it doesn't come undone and that the stuffing won't show. I'm going to do this three quarters of the way around. 
then you'll stuff it, which I trust that you can stuff. I filled mine a little bit more than usual, just so it looks like the soup's like overfilled. Um, don't forget to pull your stuffing apart into small clumps, because um, that will help give it a rounder, fuller look. And then I'll hide all my tails. And that's how we made our tomato soup for our grilled cheese. Thank you so much for joining me today in this tutorial to make the soup. I hope you also made a grilled cheese sandwich so they can be best friends and hang out together. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I love seeing pictures of final products as well. If this video was helpful, if you could please give it a like and subscribe, that would be awesome. It helps the channel go further and it really helps me grow as my business. Again, my name is Kendall and I'll see you in the next video.